Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are at Washougal, Washington. One of the most scenic motocross tracks in the AMA Pro Circuit. And today, I just wanted to hang out and rip some laps and kind of talk about uh, bike setup, rider, riding technique. Um, I have a lot to learn, but I am about 120 hours into this game. So, you know, for guys that are just jumping into the game, I might have something I can pass along to help you out. Um, a lot of the stuff that you do in real life on a dirt bike actually does pass over, you know, cross over, and works pretty well in this game. So let's let's just start getting, getting busy here, right? But the big thing is uh, cornering. And, you know, let's just... Let's get right to the chase. You need to turn off all your assists. I do have foot da uh, foot dab assist on because it's just too much. But everything else is shut down. You got to have manual sit down, stand up, um, and it is real tough to talk and ride playing this game. So bear with me. But uh, we're gonna do our best. And I think at the end of this video, I might do a kind of a an announcer style uh, lap and kind of uh, announce myself riding, you know? It'd be kind of fun, but... Uh, and we're gonna do both Washougal tracks. So stick around for that, but uh, cornering, big one. And I've kind of just figured this out. It's pretty rad, too. What you wanna do, go into the corner, standing up. Go into the corner, standing up. Oh boy, let's make it over the sand section first. Check this out. Beautiful. So this corner coming up right here. Let's get over this clean. I'm going to go into the corner standing up and lean back and break and then apex sit down lean forward. It all happens so quick. It's really muscle memory type. Of, uh oh. Boy oh boy oh boy. Really muscle memory type of stuff but let me explain it here before I get crazy and then, then we'll try it out but go into the corner standing up lean back while breaking and then apex sit down and lean forward right here braking sit down and then lean <laughs> it's hard to do a sandbox editor stepping in to help explain what sandbox rider is having a tough time with we're going into the corner standing up to keep the braking bumps smooth applying some brake and then apex, we're gonna sit down, sitting down right up on the tank right there. Now here I'm gonna go with neutral and then lean back on the gas right there to get that rear end to grab. And then that rear, that front tire is actually getting up off the ground right out of that corner. Now right here, I'm gonna press my weight into the face of that jump and that's gonna help slow me down as well. Little bonus tip there for you. It's hard to talk through it, it's so quick. So lean forward and then as you're getting on, the, while you're braking, then you get more brake to the front tire, right? Then as you're accelerating out, lean back to get traction on the rear tire. So let's see if we can execute that. That was a lazy one, but going in the corner, leaning back. That was pretty good. Leaning back. And then also while you're doing that, you're sitting down mid apex too, so. Let's try it uh, coming up here. Little baby jump here. Just focusing on the cornering right now. So right here, boom. It's tough to explain while I do it so quick, but yeah, try that out. Let's see, that's a really good corner to try that. And there we go. There we go. Ooh! Oh no! That was close, but it just wants to wheelie out if you do it right. And Another thing is bike setup. And before you even get to bike setup, I'm gonna tell you kind of what my setup is as well, but you wanna make sure your dead zones, your sensitivity, your controller input is comfortable for you as well. It's really important. I know a lot of people, you know, they copy other people's setups, which is fine, but I really think that you should explore, oh boy, explore your own setup. I, I don't have anybody's setup here. This is all my setup. I've just kind of explored and discovered as I've played the game and I've just felt what's comfortable. But once you get your sensitivity dialed in and your control scheme set up, you know, 
Oh, shish kebab. Um, then you want to start messing with your uh, bike setup. And right now, I'm running. A, I like running. Good heavens, this track is freaking tough. I like running a softer spring and then a softer dampening. Or damping, sorry. Let's get through this. Nice little inside. And... Oh... There we go. And then your rear and your front suspension is not going to be the same. My, my, rebound, is, my rebound is faster in the front and slower in the rear because I kind of want to... Whoopsies. Didn't see that. The shadows were right there. I like a, a little more of a dead fe <laughs> a dead feeling rear end. Holy crap, let's get this train rolling in the right direction here. We're gonna get that hot lap going, don't worry. But uh a slower rebound in the rear. So slower rebound, which means a slower number or a smaller number, and then the front forks. I have a little faster rebound so that front wheel makes contact quicker with the ground over bumps and I continue that front traction. And then the rear end's not bouncing all over the place either. So, and then, oh, oh, sag, race sag. You want your rear to be about 105 millimeters. And then right now I'm running about 65 millimeters in the front and your sag will change. Uh, your preload is how you adjust your sag, so that's what I'm talking about there. But your sag will change with a stiffer or softer spring. So if you change your spring stiffness, you got to go in and change your uh, preload. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and rip this. Uh, let's get a little practice lap going here. And then the lap after this, we're going to set a hot one. And then we're going to move over to that other Washougal track, uh, Washington track. This is the tougher of the two. This this scaling on this track, ooh, that was sick, that was sick. Let's get down the hill. The scaling on this track seems just a touch small. Oh boy, oh boy. A little bit too small to me uh, compared to real life, but this track is still fun for what it is though. It's pretty darn close. I feel like it's just three to 5% on the small side, scaling-wise. Let me focus here. Let's get this dial. Alright, we're gonna sit down right there. Boom, lean forward. Rip out of there. Stand up on the faces. You want all your controls that are important in a comfortable spot for you, too. I got my rear brake and my stand sit-up, or stand, stand up, sit down all uh, in a comfortable position. But a lot of this game is just muscle memory. So if you're about 30 hours in, uh -oh, and you still suck, uh, don't get discouraged because I rode the same track on a 125 over and over and over again for 30 hours straight before I even moved to a different bike. Ooh, that was dope. Uh-oh. Okay, here's the hot lap. Here we go. I'm gonna narrate this one. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, we are on board with the Digital, Digital Sandbox, Sandbox Team Rider as we start the hot lap. Going, going into the, into the second, second turn, turn, he takes the inside, inside almost, almost goes over top, top of the berm there. there. Leaning, Leaning forward as he hits that inside berm way, way ahead, ahead of the ghost already, already as he tucks inside, inside once, once again, again. Going up the little tabletop, right, right down, down the back the side. side. We would we like, like to see a scrub, scrub right, right there from him, him but he's, he's not, not really, really getting very stylish. stylish. He, he avoids, avoids the big the roller, roller, trying to gain a little bit of speed, speed. overclears over that, that, going by pit row, grabs, grabs that, that inside, inside rut, rut. Accelerates, accelerates out as he's, as he's about, about to head up horsepower hill as he takes the outside, outside. getting on, on the throttle, almost goes out the berm again. Front end a bit high as we truck on up horsepower hill, keeping the power to the ground. Cresting, Cresting the, top, the top, we get a little bit light, light as, gravity as gravity goes away, away as he as rides, he rides the, side the side of the track, track getting a little frisky, dropping back, back down, down the other side. side. Looks, Looks like he's going to go for the middle, middle line. line. No, he's, no, he's going, going outside. outside. 
him. Oh, oh big, big, big mistake. Is the ghost going to get by him? No, no. He's working that clutch as we go down the ski jump. He makes, makes it, it as, as he goes, goes into the old outside, outside corner, corner through the S-turns, outside, 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 inside, and, and back, back down. down. The little tabletop. tabletop. What's he going to do now? Oh, he takes the middle line as we head towards the triple. Wide open. Huck in the triple. Little bounce. Oh, boy, what's going to happen here? He lands in the sand on the gas. Stand it up. Wide open, trying to find as much speed as possible as we head towards the road jump. Outside. Getting some style, style beautiful, beautiful style, style over the road, road jump, jump as he rips around the outside, outside corner, corner and back, back down, down the other, the other side. side. Looking like, like a, a great, great lap, lap. By, the by the digital, digital sandbox, sandbox team rider. Rip rips a tear off, off without, without missing, missing a beat. A beat. He's, He's staying ahead of the ghost. Looks, looks like, like this, this might be the hot lap, lap that he wanted. He wanted. Takes the inside, real sloppy with a whoop entrance there. We've seen way better for pretty much everybody else today on the track. Very sloppy through the whoops, and it looks like he still beats the ghost. Okay, guys, we're at the other Washugal version of the track in this game. The one that actually came with the game. Washington is what it's called, and I think this one actually feels a little more like the real track in real life. Um, and this, don't let the starting line fool you. This track is absolutely beat to hell. I haven't re reset this track in a long time. As you can see, look at how beat up it is. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, let's rip some laps on this. It's gonna be sick. I think this setup that I'm running actually works pretty good for Erode because I like to ride Erode and I kind of, oh boy, oh boy. I kind of have the bike set up to handle a road pretty good. At least I think so, but we kind of went over enough setup stuff on the, oh gosh, right into the <laughs> Okay, let's get after it. Let's just have some fun. Okay. Hit the outside here. Sit down, rip out of it. With the road, it's so slick that you want to have it's good to be in a little bit of a higher gear, depending on your gearing, too. So right here, good. You want to lean back, get on the brakes, then sit down. Oh, I had it, I had it mixed up there. That little red icon tells you if you're standing up or not. I'm going to catch the inside, sit down a little early. Rip out of it, hit the triple. Launch over the sand. Uh-oh. Little bounce. Oh, this is rough. Up over the road jump. Little brake tap. Round the up. What the? What in tarnation? Okay, this is a little more difficult than the other track with all this E road, but we're going to get after it. Down the back area, up the little uh, speed check. A little over launch. See how these whoops compare to the other track. Sit down in that corner. Flip up over that. These are a little easier. Actually, I had to scratch my nose there in, in real life, too. Let's see if we can get. Ooh! Drifting! Alright. Leaning forward going into that corner. On the brake to keep that front, get a little more braking power out of that front end. Then as I'm coming out, I'm leaning back. Let's see if we can catch this little ghost. Sitting down. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get with it here. See, road is no joke. Down right here, feather the throttle. Oh, oh! Almost went over the handlebars. Get up the hill. Okay, don't hit the hay bell again. There we go. Easy. Easy does it. Oh, 
back in the day when I first started playing this game, I would absolutely overshoot the crap out of that corner and go flying off the flying off the map, you know? I like the ski jump on the other track better, but overall, I think this is a better version of uh This is a better version of Wash Eagle. That jump's a bit bigger. Let's sit down through there. What the tarn is this way? This is tough as heck. We're gonna get around it clean. I was doing it clean earlier. This is gnarly. Kinda realistic though, this is how Wash Jeez, this is how Wash is in real life. Alright, alright. Stick to the line. Ooh, that's rough. That's another thing. If you ride E-Road a lot with this game, you're going to get better. If you ride the super smooth, basic little tracks, it's just too easy. Look how easy that is. Look at that. Just, just hauling ass. Just turn the... Uh-oh. Oh, secret line discovered. Sorry guys, I am crashing all over the place, but uh, I'm not gonna restart the video now. We're gonna make it work. Sit down through there. Stand up and sit down again. Gentle is key when you're running a road like this. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, back down we go. Let's get up the hill. Holy moly, this is tough. That was good. Just hold our line here. Grab that outside. I'm just gonna focus on not crashing instead of trying to go fast. Every time I start recording, I try to go fast. You know, we're trying to look cool. Really, we end up just looking like a, like a big dork. There we go. What'd you guys think? Oh my goodness. In my opinion, I think, come on. Did you guys see the, the game awards? I was gonna say, oh my goodness gracious. The Game Awards had a Gran Turismo 7 win best racing and sports game of the year. I don't know about that. I'm going to have to go with MX Bikes. <laughs> that was dope. Yeah, there we go. Sick. Nice little speed check. Hop! Oh! Land on the rear tire. There we go. Catch the inside here. A little easier. That was rad as hell. It's the little things in this game that are super fun. Just stuff you might not even notice when you're watching the video, but just the way it feels when you do it when you're playing. It's just epic. If you don't have this ooh, if you don't have this game, go buy it right now. Beautiful. We're ahead of the ghost. Oh no, we're gonna beat this ghost this time. crashes up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just gotta stay ahead of it. I'm gonna find those smooth lines. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and not hit the road. 
Instead of making it tough on myself, right? Right up the left-hand side. Epic. Cut to the inside. Come on, don't crash! <laughs> it's so much easier. Not in the road line. Leaning back, standing up, sitting down last second, leaning forward, and then leaning back out of it. Keep that uh, traction on the rear end like we were talking about earlier in the video. Take these tips, go try them out. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on. Damn! Come on, go! Oh, no. Clutch in so I don't kill the bike. This is technical. Shh. and gentle no oh my gosh no way that was gnarly holy shit. get over it not quite not a lot of style but we're gonna make it inside come on don't crash look at all these ruts sick we're ahead of the ghost we're gonna beat it there we go we got a decently clean lap holy shit Thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far. Lock into that rut. Oh, I don't want to get too crazy. I just want to beat the ghost. Yes! Yeah! Sweet. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for hanging out. And I hope the tips help. And we'll get some more videos out there for you. I know it's been a while, but uh, whew, there's so many games to play. But uh, I'm going to try not to let the ADHD take over. Sometimes you just got to narrow it down and make some content. See you in the next one.